Hey there, strangers. I'm Oblex. Welcome to the end. Let's, uh, let's talk about mistakes today. So, imagine me. There it was. Um, coming up with a really cool idea for a Curse of Strahd game. Um, and I'm like, let's put some cool undead in it, right? Like, uh, ghouls. Seems pretty classic. No problems with that, you know? And the Strahd zombies there are pretty ugly, so you can really play with it. And I get all Thingiverse, and I go to find something really cool, a really cool design for it, and I print out a whole army of ghouls. A massive army of ghouls, right? Something that's, you know, gonna really scare the crap out of my players, and I print them out on my resin printer, and I'm really rushed to do it, and they explode. And, no, no I, I don't think you understand. I mean, I was in another room several days later after I had printed them, primed them, and painted the first part of them, and I heard the pops as resin came across my wall. And I, I've already cleaned that part, but I want to show you something really cool and also kind of terrifying. So, we'll do the thing. Ah, oh, there we go. So check that out. Check the inside of it. Icky, right? Yeah. I have about ten of these that uh, have giant massive holes in them now. And some of them are, you know, pretty ugly. Some of them aren't too bad, like this one right here. And yeah, that one might be a little too bright to really see. But there's that one. And then my personal favorite is uh, Sir Backless right here. Check that out. Cool, right? No, no. Focus on this, on my face. I'm gonna sell that. There you go. Check that out. So, that's the thing that happened. And I want to talk about mistakes here for a second, because the first thing that happened is I went, oh man, you know, I got a couple days before the game starts, and I'm not going to have those super cool monsters for me to work with, but I, I want to talk about how something that seemed like a, a flaw, a mistake, a, a broken piece can actually turn into something really so I'm not actually going to do the full walkthrough of it, like a full tutorial, but I'm going to walk you through some steps that I did, and uh, if you're interested in this, I will do a tutorial later, because I still got like, I don't know, nine more to go. So there's a thing called Kintsugi. Um, it's the ancient Japanese art of restoring broken ceramic pottery. Um, you've probably heard of this before in like TV shows and movies where the pottery breaks, and then they, they line it in gold. Um, the word kintsugi means gold rejoining, and it refers to like this uh, Zen philosophy of acknowledging flaws. Um, it kind of like embraces change, and it takes something that you know may have originally thought to be broken or ugly, and it takes those flaws and brings them to light and makes them beautiful. And I'm not talking about pottery; I'm talking about ghouls right now. But, <laughs> uh, but. We kind of working with that right now. So instead of giving up and not having a monster, I decided to play around. I wanted to show you what I did and kind of just say that, you know, sometimes mistakes happen and sometimes it's really cool, right? So check this out, right? So you have the regular Gularoony. There we go. So we got a little Gularoony here. He's got a couple holes in him, right? So the first thing that you can do is you take uh, a glue that you are fond of, whether that be uh, tacky glue, super glue, Elmer's glue, I mean, you know, whatever kind you want, whatever you're brave enough with, and you fill that crack up, you fill that hole. Same thing with uh, the pottery. And after that, you uh, start making things interesting. So I went ahead and went with bone spurts, but theoretically you could do this with anything. So you could do like massive ooze sputters, mushrooms coming out the top, uh, pustules and oozes and all sorts of crazy stuff. Hit up Black Magic Craft. He's got like a thousand different kinds of ideas for stuff like this. But you find things just around your house. So you fill it with glue, you find things around your house. So what I did is you see like a, a Q-tip, like a normal ordinary Q-tip. You take that, or you take like uh, a piece of wooden stick, a popsicle stick. Um, you could literally take trash, straws from fast food, anything like that, and you stuff your gularoonie 
right in the center of wherever that hole is. Yep. You take wherever that hole is for that Gularuni and you stuff him right up with whatever knick-knack bric-a-bracks you got. Yeah, you load him up with as much as you physically can. So, after that, you fill him up, let him dry, let him dry, let him dry, please God let him dry. Um, after you let him dry, um, you can go into painting and stuff like that. Now I stuck with mostly Q-tips because they're plastic and they're hollow, right? So I'm like bone spurts, right? Very cool. Um, so you take that, that paint job, and I can go through a walkthrough of how to do that paint job if you like, but um, basically you do the, the first part of a primer, which can be, you can either do a Ziffindel or you can do black or white. Um, uh, Goobertown Hobbies does a really good playthrough of this, but I can do a tutorial too um, after that. After you paint the pieces that are all nice and stuck together, uh, that main primer, and you've got everything nice and good, then you can start putting the paint in. Now I kept it with like a bone color and then put like blood color in between, and then I uh, made the rest of the body kind of like this uh, reddish brownish skin color, which is going to get darker with the shades, like, like I said, it should get interesting. Um, and then after everything's painted, you go ahead and put a wash in it. Like I said, there's a lot of tutorials online about this, if you're worried about it. You can super uh, find some Goobertown Hobbies tutorials or Black Magic Craft tutorials. They're both really cool. And then after that, you do a uh, dry brush and you get something like. Let's see if I show you my beautiful creation. So anyway, his name is Virgo, and they'll all have different names too, but uh, yeah, so it's just that kind of concept where you think something crazy happens, like something in your life pops and gets all over your wall. Um, it's not the end, you know? Like, it's not the end of the project, all you gotta do is... is think outside of the box and sometimes that can be really hard at times and that's why there's people everywhere that are there to help. This may seem like a really short kind of weird crazy off the topic out of the the bad house weird video but I just wanted to show you that you know sometimes things don't go your way and that's not the end of the project you know it just means that you're going a different direction and sometimes it ends up way cooler than you wanted because now they're dealing with mutant ghouls which is so much cooler than regular ghouls i mean come on bones birds coming out of the back like that that is so neat and obviously i'm not the greatest painter in the world you know i i know the basics at best but i mean it works for a tabletop and you know, if you ever want to beat me on that, come up with your own ideas and show me and, and blow me out of the water when it comes to that, do it, you know? Uh, speaking of that, I got a Twitter. You can tweet me if you by some chance decide to steal this idea and move it for yourself. Um, show me what you come up with, you know? Is it bone spurts? Do you go with oozes? Mushrooms? Weird mechanical claws coming out the back? I don't know. You can come up with that. Anyway. You know, if you ended up actually liking this video for whatever crazy reason, um, you could always subscribe. I'm actually trying to get to the point where we're getting some really cool videos out with like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, a lot of reviews, doing crazy miniature stuff, dioramas, all that kind of things. So if you're interested in that, um, you can always subscribe to me, hit that bell, hit that bell. Look at me, I sound like a YouTuber now. Um, and if you like this, let me know. And if you didn't like this, let me know. I will always read the comments. All right. Well, this has been the end. I've been Ublex, and I hope you liked it. Alright. Uh, bye. Make it look good. Icky. Oh, I should have called him Spine Break! <laughs>